Hi guys, um, this week's tutorial is going to be the water marbling tutorial. You guys kept asking, I'm, uh, finally think I got a good angle for this to take. And, uh, you actually be able to see. Um, these I already did on myself. I'm going to be taking this hands polish off and redoing it. Um, as you can see, it's pretty freaking cool. Um, so stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. Um, what you're going to need is, I have OPI's top coat. I uh, use Ramel's Base Coat Top Coat Pro. I just use it as a base coat. Um, you're going to need nail polish remover, masking tape, or I actually scotch tape rather, not masking, um, cuticle sticks, a brush to take off the excess polish, as well as some Q-tips. A cup to put your water in, which um, you're going to want to do warm filtered water. Uh, it seems to spread more. Paper towels to clean up the mess. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so starting off, we're going to have clean nails. Um, we're going to go then take our Ramel base coat and paint our nails. Then we're going to be using Sally Henson's Hard as Nails Extreme Wear um, in Whiteout. Um, the colors we're using for our water marbling is going to be um, another Sally Henson's Hard as Nails Extreme Wear in Mellow Yellow. As you can see, I made a mess of the bottle from doing uh, my other hand. And then we're going to also use Sinful Colors in aquamarine so then while we're waiting for that to dry we can actually take some of this off there's a little too much so we're going to let that dry and then we'll come back Okay, so now we're going to wrap our nails, and this is just going to make it easier to clean up the nails. So you're going to take a piece of tape, I'm going just right outside your cuticle, tape it across like that, and then take another section of tape, a little bit longer, and you're going to tape right on the edge of your cuticle, wrap it around the nail, then back up the other edge. I haven't gotten my lengths down too well yet. So then that just kind of covers all here so it makes it easier. You'll see why in a second. I'm only going to do two at a time. You do too many. It's hard to work with <laughs> all your fingers taped. So then again, taking the tape. Mm -hmm. Put it to the edge, and you'll wrap it around, and scoop it in like that. So then you're just covered around here. So now you're going to take your cup of warm filtered water, your cuticle stick, and your two polishes. I'm doing two, you can do several more. Um, you open them up, you want to leave them open because you're going to be rotating between the two. Let's move that back so you can see everything. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to begin to build a bullseye. So what you're going to want to do is take the color and drop it in the water. And then it'll start to spread out. Then you want to go and take the yellow. Keep going back and forth till you build your bullseye.
Alright, so now taking the pointed end of your stick, you're going to go and pull it out and start to draw your design. After a couple of times, you're going to want to take your paper towel and wipe it off. And just keep filling your design. You can drag it up the end, it tends to help. And you can kind of make it go out further. Pulling. And then, if you're gonna pull out from the outside, keep in mind the longer this takes, the quicker your nail polish is gonna dry. So try not to grab directly from the very outside, because you might ruin the whole thing. So I tend to go right um, from the first color, like this first one after that. If you get some globs like this, you can just push it in and pull it out and it'll fix it. And then we'll take a swipe here. Do a swipe here. Just kind of draw your design however you feel like it. You can even swirl it. It's really up to you how crazy you want the design to go. Now, when you find, when you're done, find wherever you, locations you like best take your fingers and you're going to take try and get them in at the same time and so hopefully you're able to see this so dip them in and then what you're going to do is pull the rest of the polish off the surface and that's what your nails are going to, they're going to have a lot of water and then so then you get all the polish up on the uh, tape and everything, but this is why we did the tape, to make it easier to clean up. So now while these dry, we'll tape up our other, we'll do these two fingers. And then, like, this one I hit an air pocket, so obviously you won't see the color on here, but this one we got pretty well. So, when your um, polish is dry, then you can take a pair of scissors, and you're going to cut the end of the tape here. And this is the easiest versus just pulling the tape. Pull away from your cuticles, pull it up, and this one fold it over. So, and then pull the tape off, and do the same thing with this. So, there's our nails. We need to clean up all of this. Then these are still drying. So while these are drying, let's get our thumb. You gotta try and be careful when you're pulling the color up, because if you hit your nail, then that's what happens. <laughs> you miss some of the color. But that's okay. We're not trying to be perfect here. Alright, so now while this one's drying, we'll cut the tape off of these.
So now we've got all our nails done. Gotta wait for this one to dry. Uh, I'm gonna go clean up this mess and then we're gonna show you how to clean up your nails. So stay tuned. So now the fun begins. So now, dip your brush, kind of clear up a little bit of the excess, and just kind of start going around your cuticles. And I just wiggle back and forth till I get it all off my skin, get it all cleaned up. Don't forget, because if you have longer nails, you probably got close enough, and they're kind of short. So you got to get right under here, because you see all the paint gets here. So now, now that our nails are all cleaned up, we're going to go and take the OPI top coat. And I only do one coat. I find that lasts just perfect for me. So. so then just go and swipe it to seal all it in. The nice thing is even though like you have all this crazy what looks like layers, it's actually really nice and smooth. Uh, just a tip and an FYI, um, when doing the water for this, um, make sure your AC isn't using, running. I, t I found uh, the polish dries faster and I have a harder time just making the designs because the polish will dry and then just make a big mess. Um, so kind of keep like a normal cool room or if anything, if the room you're in, you could turn the AC off in there or try and do that or cover the vent. Um, so yeah, that's this week's video. Um, keep making suggestions. I'll keep putting videos out. Hope you like it. See you next week. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!